Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? I am doing great, thank you so much for asking. Now in the year 2018, life can be very, very hectic, so it's very important that we just take some time out for ourselves to enjoy a little bit of leisure. Now, some people's leisure includes maybe going to the gym, or going for a run, or hanging out with friends, going out for a meal, doing some hallucinogens, whatever does it for you. Me, personally, I like to spend my leisure time playing Spyro the Dragon, but when I'm not doing that, I like to sit around and I like to watch really, really long, really, really bad videos on YouTube. Now, the trashy video in question actually happens to be the Tanacon What Really Happened video. Now this 90 minute long absolute piece of art was released by Michael we West. West. West? West? I don't know. It's the guy on the scooter. We all know him as Scooter Man. We remember him, he used to ride the Segway around. He was the he was the 21 year old business whiz who just had all these grand ideas of turning Tanacon into the next VidCon, or Live Aid, or I don't know, because he said he would turn this event into just something that is absolutely history making. And he's not wrong, it was history making, but just for all the wrong reasons. Now this video, besides being a just complete waste of time, was actually just a, it's just a collection of clips that were never meant to be released to the public, never meant to be shown to anyone. There was a note from the director in the description, it says, most of the footage contained in this film was never intended to be used for a feature film. The included footage was shot for archival purposes, and not intended for public viewing, blah 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 So basically it's just a whole bunch of rubbish slapped together and apparently it's meant to prove a point, it's meant to prove that hey, you know what, Tanacon, it was meant to be really big, have a look, see all the stuff that we did, you guys don't understand just how big Tanacon was gonna be. Now just straight up, I just wanna say, uh, I didn't really understand what the point of this video was, uh, and after watching all 90 minutes of it, uh, I still don't know what the point of it was, like I really don't, it, it was the most pointless 90 minutes of my life I've ever spent in front of a television screen. The first 25 minutes of this video, it was just a whole bunch of people just sitting in Tana Mojo's apartment, just talking, just talking crap. Just saying, oh, we should get this person. We should get this person. Oh, I've got this person's schedule. This is what the stage is gonna look like. This, 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 that, that, that. So it was a whole bunch of nothing. It was actually just a whole bunch of people just sort of, you know, stroking each other's ego, so to speak, just talking about how great the event's gonna be, just how excited everybody is. For the duration of this scene, nothing really happened. It was all just very pedestrian, just stayed in first gear. The most exciting thing that ever happened in this video period happened in this scene. Uh, there was just a random guy that just walked in and he was like punching a cone. And he was like, whoa, dude, you've got this like uh, wanted Picture photo booth thing? Fuck, that's so cool. I'm so excited. I, I, I'm i a criminal myself, so I can tell you just how excited I am. And he's... <laughs> oh. <coughs> and the next scene, Michael, the Segway guy, he actually spent, not in real time, but he allegedly spent 45 minutes trying to get Tanamojo out of bed to go to a meeting with Bella Thorne. So that tells you just how much of an idiot Tana Mojo is, like she wants to plan this event, she's so excited for this event, but she can't even get out of bed to actually go to a business meeting. Hmm. <laughs> Something's a bit fishy there, isn't it? So eventually they go to Bella Thorne's house. Again, they sit around, uh, they just talk about stuff, nothing really happens. The most eventful thing that happened in this scene was, uh, Bella Thorne was sitting on Tana Mojo, like using her as a chair. So what followed was a meeting. And that meeting was followed by another meeting. And then it was meeting, 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 meeting. This whole video was a big collection of meetings. That's what filled almost an hour's worth of content, was meetings. It was Michael or Tanner just talking to people, just having a meeting, just shooting the sh Throughout all of these videos, we really didn't learn anything. It didn't give us any insight at all. All it showed us was meetings. And in these meetings, Michael was chucking around all his business statistics. He sounded very professional. He sounded like everything was very organized. Mmm. Then we fast forward to the actual day of Tanacon. Everybody's ready. Everybody's got their official Tanacon lanyards. There's a sticker on the elevator. Everything is looking totally official. I, for one, as a viewer, was very, very disappointed that we didn't actually get a Tanacon branded bong. That's probably why Tanacon failed in the first place. This video very shortly showed all the chaos that happened at Tanacon. We all know what happened. No point on touching on that in this video. But it showed all that stuff happening. Everyone was like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And it very, very smartly showed the, uh, the most incredible Eliminating footage to ever be associated with this whole Tanacon debacle. Michael, in amongst all this, he was freaking out. He was like, you know what? Instead of fixing the problem, 
Uh, I better go. I've got to go, guys. Sorry. Uh, I've got somewhere to be. I'll see you later. He called an Uber. The Uber cancelled on him, I believe, twice. So what did he do? He just jumped in this random Uber filled with all these people. Apparently, they're like influencers or something. He just jumps in this Uber and he takes off. Doesn't, doesn't try to rectify anything. Doesn't try assist in uh, crowd management. Doesn't try calm everyone down. Doesn't issue a statement then and there. He just leaves. He's gone. Like, whoa, what the hell? What a coward. What a coward. This video, if nothing else, just showed that this guy was a massive rat. He was a coward. When the goings got tough, he just took off. Like the rat that he is, he took all these little cheese blocks and he ran off, scurried into his little hidey hole. So then we fast forward a day or two later and everybody, surprise, surprise, is having another meeting. They said, oh, I didn't expect this turnout. Oh, I did not expect this many people to show up. Despite the fact that they were completely bragging about the sales that they had made and how big this event was gonna be, for some convenient reason, they still didn't understand why it was so big and how all this happened. Now this to me sounds like a little bit of uh, unorganization, a little bit of mis management. Now the only management I've ever had to do in my life is plan my meals, but even then that just completely goes to crap and then I just order McDonald's. So I'm not one to talk on this issue, but it just appears that uh, nobody really, really, really understood what was happening. It's all great to book a venue and say this person's coming and this person's coming and I've got this lanyard and I've got this sticker for the elevator, no bongs, but we've got all this stuff happening. It's all well and good to say that, but at the very end of the day, when stuff goes wrong, you need to have a backup plan. But not only that, you need to make sure that this stuff doesn't happen in the first place. And the fact that they just did not expect this many people to be there, despite kind of knowing anyway, was just completely asinine on their part. And I find it really hard to be sympathetic for these people because you know what? They kind of had it coming to them. So at the very end of the video, it showed poor weeping Michael while his, his poor battered soul had to confront the media, issue a statement. <laughs> the funniest part about this scene, there was actually people in the crowd just shouting that they couldn't hear him. They're like, we can't hear, we can't hear. And then they started booing and everyone's like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. So even the actual apology, the, the official issued statement was just a complete mess. And I think that's a very appropriate way to just round out the whole Tanacon saga was by having just an absolute dumpster fire of a press conference. The end of the video very, very briefly just touched on the fact that Michael had to file for bankruptcy. He ended up running at a loss of $700,000. And that was it. That was the video. Proved nothing. Just showed meetings. Uh, we didn't really get anything from the meetings. The whole premise of the video was to uh, really show people just how big Tanacon was gonna be. It was meant to just show it how hard everybody was working to try get this thing to work. Well, I'm sure they all put hard work into it, but that hard work didn't exactly pay off for them, did it? No, it didn't. And these meetings didn't make me think, oh, guy, oh, these guys work really hard. They put their blood, sweat and tears into this. They put so much effort into it. I just, I'm so disappointed for them that it failed. Didn't evoke that response from me anyway. It didn't make anybody feel sorry for Michael or Tanner. And as a matter of fact, it actually made him look 10 times worse. You can't feel sorry for someone that just quits and just runs away and just lets everything just catch fire. That's not a sympathetic person, all right? Doesn't matter how many meetings or DMs or teary little, little sessions that you show, nothing is gonna make people feel sorry for that guy because he was a rat. And yes, this 90 minute mess of a video, absolute waste of time. If you haven't watched it, don't watch it. It's a trap. I did it for you. I watched it so you don't have to, okay? But if you wanna watch it, by all means do it. What I would recommend to you is you actually turn this video into a drinking game. So what you do, basically, you take a shot of whatever, Sambuca, Bailey's, straight vodka, whatever your flavor is, you take a shot every time there's a meeting. Or you could also take a shot every time Michael brags about having this person coming, or bragging about having this organized. Honestly, you play this game, you will, you will probably actually die of alcohol poisoning, because I guarantee to you, you're gonna be drinking a lot of shots. A lot of shots. That's the end of the vid. Thank you very much if you did watch it. Uh, if you did share, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, make sure you do all that jazz. It really helped me out. I love you all, and maybe I'll see you again soon. Maybe I won't. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Bye.